Hello, my name is Jason and I am someone who actually healed chronic fatigue syndrome, which I had for 11 years. I also had other uh, kind of patterns like anxiety and secondary depression and different factors like that. Also IBS, uh, gluten intolerance, all kinds of different things that I actually had. POTS as well, which is where uh, someone had to stand up quickly, uh, they could faint. Uh, I also had um, sensitivity to hot and cold. Uh, my feet were always like completely frozen. The main symptom of the chronic fatigue was actually the crushing fatigue. So it felt like I had uh, run a marathon, uh, you know, for like several days before. I wanted to wake up in the morning. Uh, and having like totally unrefreshed sleep, I wake up feeling even more tired, even though I had been resting the whole day. So yeah, it was absolutely intense. It was a really, really difficult period of my life. However, I completely got through it. So what are some of the things that I actually did uh, to heal uh, chronic fatigue syndrome to completely get better? So initially I, I was looking for answers uh, you know, from uh, Western medicine and unfortunately they don't really have any set uh, treatments or procedures uh, for chronic fatigue um, and I was even told that you know, maybe the chronic fatigue was in my head or, or perhaps that I couldn't heal it. These kind of uh, kind of opinions that I had, uh, which I needed to kind of look beyond that. I needed to look at other people who had fully healed and gain inspiration from that. And that's what I did. So uh, initially what I did straight away was I did acupuncture. I did that for quite a while. I noticed that it definitely uh, helped me to feel more relaxed. However, it wasn't actually sustainable. So it, it wasn't after maybe three days, uh, you know, kind of the, the positive effects of the acupuncture were, were, would wear off and then I'd need some more kind of things. So, um, and it didn't actually alleviate the, the fatigue and other, all the kind of array of symptoms that I had. Uh, brain fog was another uh, symptom that I had. Uh, muscle pain, severe muscle pain after even gentle activity, even after like a five or 10 minute walk. All kinds of different factors going on. Uh, also, I had uh, anxiety as well and uh, secondary depression as a result of being ill uh, for quite a long time, for 11 years. So what I'd say is that uh, I probably had a little bit of anxiety before uh, the chronic fatigue, however, it was like magnified. It was in increased uh, with the kind of stress levels that I had. Uh, when I had chronic fatigue syndrome. And I actually didn't realize how much stress and what the severity of the stress level was um, that I actually had. And it's kind of like uh, if, we're, if we're living with a certain level of stress, like I was living with probably at least a six, seven, eight, nine out of 10 stress on a continuous basis. If that's your kind of baseline that you're used to, then it, starts, it can start to feel normal when stress had gradually increased over time and then had a baseline of like maybe six out of 10 stress. So when I thought I was relaxed, actually I was still like a six out of 10 in terms of stress. Whereas now I'm like, you know, <laughs> maybe like eight, nine, 10 out of 10 relaxation, uh, which is the direct opposite of that. Um, and how did I actually get to that kind of place? Uh, so. I tried everything else first. I tried nutrition, like I was vegan for two and a half years. I eliminated all kinds of different foods from my diet. I also was paleo for a certain amount of time. Every kind of diet you can think of, I tried it. I also did tons of testing, spent a fortune on supplements, uh, all kinds of different treatments, a huge array of them, probably uh, any of the treatments that you know of, I probably have done or done something similar to it. And yeah, so it was a long journey. I wouldn't say that it took 11 years to heal at all actually, however. I would say it probably took more like two months uh, for me to completely heal. Uh, however, I was seeing like very, very strong improvements after doing one specific technique. Um, I was also meditating for an hour every day as well. I was doing yoga. I was doing everything that I could think of to add up to me healing. However, it wasn't enough. Uh, I tried so many different things, gained little bits of improvement here and there, 
uh, but actually when I started doing the lightning process, uh, when I trained in that, when I learned how to use that process to help myself in a very active way, uh, moment to moment basis, using it every day, that's when my health radically improved. And actually my nutrition, when I learned the lightning process and when I was implementing it, I actually uh, wasn't eating that healthy. I would say like average or a little bit below average nutrition. Uh, also, I wasn't meditating at all, so I haven't meditated since doing the lighting process. Um, also, I wasn't doing any other kind of you know graded exercise. I did graded exercise and things like that in the past. I had done walking for like less than two minutes a day and gradually built uh, up to walking 30 minutes a day. At one stage, I was walking for 40 minutes a day before I had a relapse because uh, I was pushing myself too hard. I'm sure like everyone can relate to that. People who are healing chronic fatigue, this feeling of like actually pushing themselves too much, burning the candle at both ends, not knowing how to rest and how to properly relax uh, so that your energy levels are replenished and restored. I felt like I was resting, relaxing all the time, but I wasn't, I was more like stressing. I, I wasn't actually uh, getting that res restoration of energy rebuilding and replenishing so that I could feel you know, capable and able to do things without actually pushing myself. Um, yeah, so, and also when I was resting before I did the lighting process, I would be waiting for energy. I would be waiting so long, maybe it would be like uh, weeks, you know, on end, waiting for that energy to kind of return, uh, feeling like kind of passive to it, like it was, like my body was uh, dysfunctional or my genetics or God knows what, and just waiting for my body to, to kind of restore itself. Then I would, when I would feel more energy, uh, after doing like all this you know, meditation and yoga and healthy nutrition and everything that I could do. Uh, then when I would feel energy, a uh, little bit more energetic waking up someday, then I would go and do all the things that I wanted to do that I was waiting to do for like weeks. Um, which is kind of, it sounds, sounds a little bit crazy, but that's the kind of pusher achiever pattern. Uh, when you're waiting for, for, you know, for energy and to feel, you know, somewhat okay is what I felt back then then you want to do all those kind of things and that's that's a depleting pattern as well. So there's all kinds of uh, the patterns that are actually depleting and the main ones that are depleting is they all cause stress. So whether it's physical, physiological stress or emotional stress or mental stress, those are the things that were, that's where my energy was actually going. It was leaking out of my nervous system. My sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight response, or we call it the physical emergency response, or PER for short, in the lightning process, that's where my energy was actually going to. Unconsciously, unknowingly, I wasn't aware of the kind of stress patterns that was actually running. And however, when I learned the lighting process, that's how it was so dramatic, like such a fast recovery for me. Like before I did the lighting process, I had struggled to get to walking 30 minutes a day, but it was, it was at a really slow kind of boring pace, to be honest. I wanted to do far more and I plateaued at that. That was like a plateau for a long time for me, 30 minutes each day. And that was it. That's all I could do each day. And I was still pushing a little bit with that. Uh, however, after doing the lighting process, within two weeks, I was climbing two mountains. So two mountains within two weeks. And I traveled all around Portugal uh, for a month. I explored the whole southern coast of Portugal, the Algarve, beautiful, going through all the caves, kayaking, uh, hiking. I hiked pretty much the entire uh, southern coast. Uh, driving around as well to all these stunning locations. Uh, really enjoying myself. Also, uh, you know, celebrated over there, celebrating my wellness. And uh, yeah, I've climbed all kinds of different mountains since then as well. I've climbed uh, the tallest mountain in Ireland, uh, Cara and Tuval in County Kerry. And I've also climbed uh, just just recently now, just last weekend, I climbed um, Sleeve Don Aird, which is the, the tallest mountain in Northern Ireland as well. So yeah, I'm able to do all kinds of different things now uh, and it's because of the lighting process. So when I did the lighting process, I wasn't focused on nutrition, I wasn't doing greater exercise, I wasn't doing any other thing 
other than the lighting process. That is the, the one thing that I did uh, to heal and this is the thing that made all the difference. So I'm, I'm fully trained now as a lighting process practitioner because I wanna pass on this gift to as many people as possible. So I'm working in Ireland at the moment and I'm gonna be working in Canada, all over Canada very soon as well, I'm moving there this year. Uh, and I'm gonna be there for at least two years. So, and while I'm in Ireland as well right now, I wanna pass on this gift to as many people as possible. So please uh, like, you know, and share this video because I really want to help people to properly, you know, create the positive changes that they actually want. Because I was in a place of being stuck for so long, for 11 years, and you know what? It didn't take 11 years to heal. It only took two months. And for some people, it's even like one month or even a few weeks. Even some people, it can be a few days. I didn't even think that that was possible before, but now actually I see that it is absolutely possible. Lots of people have this. Uh, obviously, you can't say, you know, you can't say, oh, definitely someone is gonna be fully healed in like a week or a month or two months. But the thing about it is, so long as you're getting those positive changes, you're putting in the effort, and you're seeing results, that's all that really matters. It's not a race uh, you know, to be fully healed in X amount of time. So long as you're on that track, that recovery path, and really making those changes that you want, that's all that matters. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna make much more videos now. I'm gonna be very consistent with it. And I hope that you enjoy this, and yeah, please like and share and subscribe. Speak to you soon. All right, bye-bye.